Shout out, Coach. What are you doing here? Hey, man, I got a gig in town. What's up wow, with you, beautiful? that's crazy. Got a gig today, so I'm just trying to get some of the way. I came in like this. Came from San Francisco, so. You look beautiful as always. Hey, where are you headed to? Thank you. I don't know, I was actually just coming to like grab something too. Alright. Uh, you wanna shop with me, grab check something out, see my style, you know, something like that. I mean you got time though? Yes. Let's check something out. Can't be just empty, man. Can be always something going on. That's why I don't like it. And Atlanta Mall. <laughs> I don't believe it's a lot of time in Atlanta when you're there. I've never spent like the amount of time I spend no, it, it's like, I don't think you even have experienced Atlanta in this nonsense. I really, after what happened to me in 2018, I broke tell into us. my car. <gasps> Jeez. I went to do a, a gig out there, rented everything out. Rented a car too. Wow. It broke into and stole everything. Wow. <laughs> Was that you that, 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 uh, in Atlanta? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, that, and they left all the windows, the doors, everything, everything open. open like that. Dang. Atlanta is traumatic, bro. Yes. Like, they still everything. Leave you with nothing. I'm in town for the whole day, so I figured we could just, you know, chop, have some fun. Like, go somewhere, eat, do some something fun, games. I like, like ice cream. I love ice cream. What's your favorite type of ice cream? Ice cream yogurt. I like cookie dough. All so, right. So, we got a date. You don't know where we going? Yeah, it's your city. <laughs> your city. Thank you. You know, I'm a yogurt Thank professional. You. <laughs> don't play with me, okay? Tell me how you really want it. Go and make it clap like that. Shake it for me, baby, flaunt it. Cause the way that you got me, seems like you're tempted to touch me. The way that you got me, seems like you're tempted to touch me. Is it true? Like, you know, they say like DJs are like thoughts. Just like they say artists are like thoughts, right? No, male artists. Female artists too. Female artists, like literally. You're not, I'm me on tour. I'm not entertaining every guy that's wrapped around the building trying to get, and then it's not even like that. Like, it's gonna be like, you know, a couple guys where they see you. And it's, even if they're gonna make their move, you don't even know because they can't even get past your team. But y'all literally be having girls waiting in your hotel rooms under the bed. <laughs> That's another bread for me. Yes. I mean, the same things that you say we do, same thing that a female artist could do. I mean, she can have different, quote unquote, thoughts in different cities that has the key but, to the room. And but just see, wait. Be, at least it'd be like her main. Y'all be like picking up random girls. I mean, I think everyone's different. Not not every DJ out there is a thought. Not every DJ out there is a, like, you know, has, is faithful. Like, every. I think your personality already speaks for you what even matters? before. What low key on the inside? They might look like this, you know, mm -hmm. like you. Whoa, okay, let me let you finish. <laughs> they on. might look like you, but it's like on the inside, it's like, no, that's not even like how they are. They really like just be about what they be doing and yeah, they might have fun, but they're, their mindset. So what are the kind of guys you're interested in? Like, you're a beautiful girl, you have a lot going on for yourself. It's, it's exciting. Like, why aren't you in a relationship? What are you looking for? I'd say this was so boring that it's like, they'll be able to focus on me, right? And I don't want that. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's for, for my lifestyle, it's either that you go for that because that's the only way that that person's gonna be able to like, you know, be able to entertain you. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of insecurity there. Well, who are you at the studio with? What time you did it? Oh, where you going? Oh, you know, and it's like, hello, if I'm, if we're together, like, I'm literally with you, you know what I mean? But it's hard to get people to understand that. And then, oh, artistry, you said, attractive, stuff like that. Guys are literally, the first thing they're always telling me is I can't take you serious. I feel like you're for the streets. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> literally, I promise you, it seemed like every guy that literally tried to talk to me from like November to now has literally been like, I really like you. But I just don't know, man. It just seemed like you for the streets, man. Like, it just seemed like, you know, because you got to be everywhere. And like, I don't want to get hurt. And I'm thinking to myself, you're letting me know already because honestly, I need somebody who's got big balls. 
But now, the other question is, would you be happy in those type of relationships? Yes, because I want somebody that's like me, in a sense. You know, I'm I'm not going to be okay with just, no shade once again, somebody that's just boring. Do you want to be with someone who's boring? I don't. All right, so why would you? That's what I'm saying, so I just someone like me, someone who's creative, someone who, low-key, their life is exciting, because my life is exciting. Mm Mm-hmm. It's actually one I've always wanted, though. Uh, that's it's kind of as in for a creative. <laughs> as in for a creative, like it's different when you like coming back home and like you know sharing the stories with the same person every other. T- it, uh, it's just it's different. It's just like it's that sense of um, excitement that all right that person has seen the trajectory understands the struggle, understands the, the lifestyle type of thing like that. Yeah, I mean, I do I do sometimes think about that. Yeah. What's the point of getting to the top and you're just there by yourself? Yeah, I said the top is lonely. Is culture a big factor for you? Like, do you feel like you have to marry into the culture? Or do you have to date into the culture? Being an artist, is, it, is there any different? I think at this point, I kind of like found myself just like more interested in like African men, Cameroonian, you know, um, Congo, South Africa. You wake up and say want to date a Congolese man. I never man. said I was waking up and doing no You want to date a man who's always win- <laughs> whining his waist and everything, like come on man, like that's really what you want? <laughs> right. I'm dying. No, but African men. Mm. Nigerian man. But, but just, it is true. Like I don't know why. A lot of people, it's either Ghana or Nigeria. Those are the most popular. It's just really Nigerian man. I'm sorry from why. From my. I mean. I'm leaving. All right. Let me not. <laughs> let me not be close-minded. But like. I actually enjoy that conversation today, though. Very impromptu and just relaxing. You're actually fun to be around when you're not working. Yeah, you wouldn't have known that. Ample time with yeah. Because anytime I see you, it's like we're working. On the go, yeah. I mean, what's your schedule like? I know you said you had things to do, but like, I feel like I can still steal some of your time. Go do something fun. I think you kind of made a good impression. I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the single brothers. (laughs) You play games? Not that type of games, but I play (laughs) games. (laughs) <laughs> I play games. Guilty conscience. Wait, wait, no, the way you said it, it was like, <laughs> you play games? So I'm just like, you're arriving at something, but I'm not giving you the answer that you... Okay, yes, I do play games. So what? Next question. Okay. So what type of games? Yeah, what kind of games? You play every time. DJ. Time. <laughs> you see, you're arriving at something. African man. Hey, man, I'm an African man. I can still function. <laughs> we are without the show. Yeah. I love it, seriously. Y'all be smashing. <laughs> <laughs>My time with Koshi was actually amazing. I, I enjoyed my time with her. The lady is really chill, very down to earth, you know, very unpredictable in the sense that, you know, she didn't just live up to that whole celebrity Hollywood style. But, you know, then I enjoyed the, the times we spent. The day was amazing. Like, I was just being able to be myself, completely unplanned, ran into her at the mall, and she was down to do everything I wanted to do. You could tell she's probably giving it a chance, giving it a thought, giving it something, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling it, so you never know. I might I might pursue that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I might get to know her more, have a few more cities on the tour, probably invite her to some of them, see if we can, you know, start up something. You know, nightlife is kind of different, it's kind of busy, it's, it's a lot going on, but to finally have someone that understands you and the same page as you, I enjoyed my time, so you never know. It might come up to something real, real. DJ Prince, no longer in the streets. <laughs> I don't know. I was random. I, I think I had a fun day. Like, it kind of surprised me because I didn't think I was going to run into him. But lucky, I always saw like this outward, you know, thing. And I had this assumption about DJs. And, but he's kind of really was a lot like me, which is crazy. So... I don't know, I had a really good time and it was just cool to just hang out like outside of work and just be myself. And it seems like, you know, he gets my jokes. 
<laughs> and my weirdness. So I don't know. We have a lot in common. I'm, I'm just kind of like, I don't want to say too much because I'm just thinking that's what I do. And I just be like, oh, we're going to get married. <laughs> that's it's too soon. <laughs> it's way too soon. You just yell at friends. So I don't know. It's I kind of want to hang out again and see where it could go, I guess. Or not go. I'm open. I'm open because, you know, it's that time and wait till Gil go do.